We're in a Cisco Catalyst switch, and I'm going to show you how to allow specific or all VLANs on a trunked port. So if we go into configuration, config terminal, and we type in the, uh, the, IP, the uh, interface that we want to make changes to, in this particular case, it's going to be the 47th port on our switch. So you just type in int g1 slash 0 slash 47. So that's short for gigabit, and then the switch is number one. So if we type in a switch port mode trunk, then we've just gone ahead and turned this particular port into a trunk. Now a trunk is basically a port that allows you to plug into other switches and instead of just a single device like a computer. So now that we're in switch port mode trunk, uh, what we want to do is uh, spe specify which VLANs we want to allow for traffic to pass through that particular trunk. So what we do is we do switch port trunk and then what I did was I did a switch port trunk question mark so you can see the different things that you can do here. So we did switch port trunk and uh, what we're going to do is type allowed and then we'll hit the question mark again and now it says VLAN so now we're going to type in VLAN and let's just say we want VLAN traffic 100 only so we'll go ahead and type in 100 alright so now if we plug this uh, particular uh, uh, port uh, plug a switch into this port on the switch and uh, it has another switch that has a whole bunch of VLANs on it we're only going to allow VLAN traffic on port VLAN 100. So if we change our mind and decide, okay, we don't want to just limit it to 100, uh, we want to go maybe 100 and maybe VLAN 1 as well. So you just hit the up arrow and you hit a comma and then you do a space and then we do change that back there we go no space and now we can allow uh, VLAN traffic on 100 and 1 so let's say we change our mind again and we want all to allow all VLAN traffic on that particular port so we just hit the backspace type all hit enter and now all VLAN traffic will be allowed on that particular port